was Las Vegas' first born world title holder. Um, he shares fought in a, he's been around for a very long time. He's fought everybody out there, and he'll be looking to go out and put a, on a great performance come this Saturday night. Ishe, would you like to come up and come? Good afternoon, everybody. Usually I just, I get up here and make it quick, but, uh, man, I'm, I'm gonna say a couple things and some people may get offended, so I really don't care. Usually I just make it quick, I talk about the fight, man, I just get down, but. Uh, first, I wanna start off by saying happy birthday to Andy, my long uh, team member. Sorry. And um, just, the media, I do appreciate you guys, but then like, I, I just feel like some of you guys are like leeches. You just leech on to the, to the fighters, and you suck whatever life you have in, out of us, and then you're done with us. Um, I've watched a tremendous guy in Floyd Mayweather take uh, half the promotional uh, fighters that most of these big promotional uh, companies have, and, He's made three world champions in less than, what, two, two and a half, three years. No, no praise, no applause, no nothing. But then on the other side, you have a, a, a guy who, who was cheated, admittedly cheated on his wife, does drugs, and dresses in fishnets, and now he's a savior in boxing. He's here to clean up the sport and save the sport. And that's fine and dandy. But, um, you know, we, we get all the bad press. We don't get no good press. I don't get no good press. I, I feed the homeless. I have back to school drives. No good press. I get I don't get no bad press either because I'm not giving y'all nothing bad. 37 years alive, I've never been arrested for anything. And I'm more proud of that than being, than being a world champion growing up in North Las Vegas. But you know. Um, you know, most of the media, they don't, they, don't, uh, they don't talk to me, I don't talk to them. Steve Karp has, has been one guy that has remained true. He's always called me, even when I lost my title, he called me and said, it was off the record, he wants to know what was wrong with me. He said I didn't see him right that night. Fighthype.com has always been true to me and always called me, but you know, I don't make the news for the stuff that I do. I don't want a, 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 a praise or applaud for the things I do. You know, right now, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm in court right now with my ex-wife trying to get custody of my three kids because, you know, three years ago she assaulted me. Didn't make the news, it's no big deal. My kids had to witness that with my ex-wife. And uh, she's, a, she's abusing my oldest son. So right now I have temporary custody of him. That won't make the news, but if it was me, I would make the news. But because it's, because it's her, she won't make the news. So I'm saying, you guys can be media guys on the, on the sport, or you can be fans. You gotta make a decision which one you gonna be. You gonna be fans and shit on boxing, or you gonna be media guys and report the facts. Because before it was, Al Heyman ain't shit. He bad for the sport this and that, but now since PBC come in, oh my God, it's this and that. Then you have some people still hating on The man is doing a tremendous job with the sport. PBC is on almost every week. They put together fantastic fights. And I know he, he don't want the praise, but he's doing a wonderful thing for the sport. But then you have other people that want to sue him, want to hate on him because he put more money in our pockets. Whereas most of the time, you give an advance to these promoters, they, they suck you dry. You know, I remember one time I fought, I fought around the bed and I made $11,000 for that fight. I had to take it, I had no choice. You know, that's, that's the kind of shit these fighters get put in. And when I got my check, it was like $3,000. You know, that's the shit that don't get reported, that don't get talked about in this game. You know, I fought one of the hardest punches in the game and I came home with $3,000, 12 rounds. And then I, I'm ridiculed, you know, you, and uh, some of it I brought in my own, you know. I was a young kid, but a lot of it I did. A lot of y'all don't like me because you don't even know me. I've never sat down and talked to y'all, never went to dinner with y'all. Some of them I have, and some of them say, you know, you should a cool dude. That's fine. 
But you know, when I fought K9, I knew I had to win. You know, I was, I was with, I had just met my fiance and I was in a two bedroom, five kids, my son had just got born. I said, shit, I gotta win. I got a lot of pressure on me right now. Shit, I gotta win. There was no doubt I was gonna win. So it's the same thing right now. I, I, I'm not a good fighter, but I gotta win. Because I'm always battling. I'm always at the bottom. I was born without a, I was born without a father. Father didn't want to take the time to raise me on man. I had to teach myself on the fly. But y'all ain't gonna report that. Y'all just gonna keep talking about an IV that a man got that several athletes get all the damn time. Football players, basketball players, Michael Jordan, they've all got it. But y'all gonna talk about all the negatives you can't find and can't appreciate what the man has did since he turned professional and has done something that's never been done before. He's trying to match that with Rocky Marciano. But y'all gonna report on all the negatives. And that's, that's cool, I know you got a job to do, but report on some of the positives. We do a lot of positive shit in this community. Report on that. And I know y'all see it, but y'all don't want to report on that. Y'all want the bad shit. I ain't never going to give y'all nothing bad. So don't even wait on it. So if you ain't going to report on the good, don't report on me at all. Like I said, Bonnie's is a good fighter. It's going to be a hell of a fight. But I know I got to win. I got to win. I ain't got no choice. I appreciate Mayweather Promotions and everything they've done for me. 18 months without a fight, man. And that shit, I think we about to break a million with this one. Poor little kid from Las Vegas, all the promoters gave up on me. And Leonard Ellery and Floyd said, you know what, we got your back. Three years later, about to break a million. Shit, I, I, I think I'm in the same